It's just been so many homicides and violent crimes within the past month that it's just hard to keep up with because the Chatham County Police Department arrested a 21 year old and charged him with murder, felony possession of a knife or firearm during the commission of or attempt to commit a felony, two felony counts of aggravated assault and felony armed robbery in the connection to a homicide on the south side of Savannah Friday evening. Now the Chatham County Police Department arrested Adante Kimball, AKA Dot, shortly after the incident occurred on Friday. He is currently being held at the Chatham County Detention Center. Police believe that he may be responsible for the murder of 35 year old Carrie Powers Jr. Now on December the 16th, Powers was found deceased in an apartment complex located at 1015 King George Boulevard. That's the Georgetown crossings apartment complex. Now, police say that the victim appears to have died from a gunshot wound, but an autopsy will be performed to determine the cause of death. Now, detectives said that the suspect and the victim knew each other. Now, Powers, the only thing that I really gathered from him was that he was a fashion designer. But also, another piece of information that just came out, Kimball is said to be connected to two different violent crimes on the south side of Savannah. Now, around 10, 15 p.m. on December the 13th, three days prior to Mr. Power's death, officers responded to the 12,400 block of Northwood Drive and discovered a 21-year-old man suffering from non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. Now, on December the 15th, a day before Mr. Power's death, at about 11.20 p.m., officers arrived on scene to the 300 block of Linwood Drive for a report of an armed robbery and carjacking. Police said that the victim met up with the suspect after communicating on a dating slash relationship app. After they met, the armed suspect robbed the victim of his possessions and vehicle and struck the victim with the firearm. So it seems like he intentionally targeted homosexuals in his crime spree, particularly homosexuals with assets and property and money. Uh, maybe he thought that these guys were a sweet lick. That's how they say in the streets because of their sexual status. Uh, hopefully they can investigate more into the reasoning behind what was the motive. But uh, Mr. Kimball, violent crime speed has come to an end. And I just tell a small story. This type of stuff usually happens. I mean, I haven't heard of it happening in over a decade. I used to have a homeboy, well, used to be my homeboy and that ain't my friend no more but i used to have a friend that actually did something like this um actually rob gay people and what his strategy was i believe the gay club in savannah is club one so what he would do was he'll wait outside um and he'll find the uh, a gay guy walking out and try to talk to him and convince him to walk to the victim's car and then when the victim get in his car he jumps in the back seat and points a loaded nine millimeter to the back of the guy's head and just say, give me everything, you know? So this is like a old finesse. This is like a old robbery trick that people used to do in Savannah. Believe it or not, you know, it's, it's really disgusting. It's really low down. Um, but this is a tactic that people used to do on the streets. And I haven't really heard of that since, <laughs> I haven't heard of something like this since 2011. So it's just a real shocker that People are still trying to rob people and in this difficult financial times of 2022. But that's all the news that I have for today. Any other updates, I'll keep y'all updated and let y'all know as well.